question, but then I got pulled into the walls. Ah, oh, old vines. Um, so you're talking about the age of your vines, and it's a great thing to hear. It's not something you normally hear um, in Bordeaux. So uh, what's your sort of um, point of view with old vines? Do you keep them until they're literally producing the minuscule amounts, or do you, um, how, do you, how do you value them? Well, it, it, it depends. I mean, the decision on pulling out a, a, a parcel is when after four or five vintages, we have not been able to, to uh, uh, despite all our efforts, uh, to include that, that parcel into the Grand Vin. Um, and that's usually for parcels that are, you know, 55, 60 years old. When we have extremely old parcels, like the one I, ma I mentioned, we will uh, um, make an effort to go the extra mile, not necessarily for the fruit it produces, but because it gives us the opportunity to fully identify the best individuals in, 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 in these parcels, and then to develop uh, uh, what we call a massal selection uh, yeah. against a, clo a clonal selection. Clonal selection, you go to the supermarket and you buy your clones. Uh, um, massal selection, you, de you develop your own selection of, of, of vines that we, you will then replant after having left the, the soil fallow for five or, or seven years. Um, and, uh, and, and the great element of those massal selection is that these are vines that have almost mutated uh, uh, with, uh, um, with the terroir they, they, they've been uh, growing on for so many years. Yeah. Um, and they will bring an extra element of, of uh, I mean, a, a sense of uniqueness in, in the wine, an extra level of taste uh, 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 that, that is not, uh, uh, you know, that you cannot compare to, to, to anywhere else. And, and that, mm -hmm. that sense of place, that sense of terroir is very much where, where you know, many producers and I think many consumers are, are, are trying to go towards the, the, the homogeneity of, of the taste within a region or within the, 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 the world, uh, uh, as, as we have seen in the last uh, uh, 10 years, is not something that the consumer is looking for. Um, mm. You don't want to taste Californian wines in Bordeaux and, and it's true the other way around. Yeah, no, it's really nice. It's, a, it's, it's, really, it's really pleasing to see the way the market or the the, the chateau is going with that um, because personally I love to taste terroir in a glass and know where I'm drinking the wine from and you know it, it just it creates another dimension